You know when you watch something that's so badly written that it hurts you? That's what's about to happen here. Casey, are you okay? I live. Wait, talk to me a second. About what? The graduate of the summer of 42, which would you rather discuss? I'd like to clear up this misunderstanding. I understand you perfectly well, Miss Jacobs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't be, because you're a liar. How can you say you were just renting a movie? Because it's the truth. It's a crock. The truth is, you're a well-put-together knockout of a woman who's feeling a little insecure about hitting 40. So when a young Vero boy, such as myself, flirts with you, you enjoy it. You entice it, you fantasize about what it would be like to be with that young boy on the verge of manhood. Because it helps you stay feeling Hit attractive. Him. Hit him. Makes the aging process a little more bearable. Well, let me tell you something. You blew it, lady. Because I'm the best sex you'll never have. Okay. You're wrong about one thing, Pacey. A kid? You're not a boy. What the fuck? No. 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 Now I'll show you how that should have gone. God, what happened to your face? Come here, let's let's talk about this for a second. About what? The graduate of the summer of 42, which would you rather discuss? Well, I would rather talk about your face. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I understand you perfectly well, Miss Jacobs. Well, that's good. I'm really concerned about you. You shouldn't be, because you're a liar. How can you say you were just renting a movie? Because that's what I was doing? That's what you do at a video rental store. The truth is, you're a well put together knockout of a woman who's feeling a little insecure about hitting 40. So when a young Vero boy such as myself flirts with you, you enjoy it. You entice it, you fantasize about what it would be like to be with that young boy on the verge of manhood. Because it helps you stay feeling attractive makes the aging process a little more bearable. Excuse well, Excuse me? Let me tell you something, you blew it, lady. Because I'm the best sex you'll never have. The best sex I'll never have? You're 15, I'm 34. You have got to be kidding me. That 45 seconds of pure jackhammering that you have planned for me later, uh-uh. I'd rather grind myself up against that stop sign over there. Sure, it would be more satisfying. I'm sure that you think that this is some sort of dynamic and that I'm gonna feed off of your angst right now, but I can promise you that I'm not. The best sex that I never had was with a guy named Damien in the south of France. So you can pack up this little fantasy of yours, put it in your little emotional backpack, walk on home, and do whatever you need to do, okay? Okay, have yourself a great night. So I think that we figured out how you got punched in the face and I'd get going because you're lucky that it hasn't happened again tonight. I'll see you in school, Miss Jacobs. Great, couldn't care less. And that is how that scene should have gone. I hope you enjoyed. This was so much fun to make. The worst part was definitely watching that scene for the very first time and realizing that I wanted to punch whoever wrote that right in the throat. That, that is awful! If there are other scenes that you would like to see me rewrite for the benefit of all writers out there, please drop them in the comments. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. We have tons of fun together. And I have started a Patreon. So if you want to support me, I will send you a present. Doesn't that sound nice? Until we meet again, friends, enjoy, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk soon.